There's a lot of building going on in Halifax right now, but even at the current rate of construction, it's not enough for the city's growing population. Halifax needs at least 17,500 more housing units, and the current pace of construction means the shortage could grow to 31,000 units in four years. The information comes from a report paid for by the province and conducted by an independent consulting company. The report was made public in the fall. Well, it confirms, I think, the things that we always uh, knew, that there is uh, more people coming in than houses being built. It's not surprising when you go by, as a city, anywhere from you know, 20 to 30,000 people a year, which is the kind of trend that we're seeing. The mayor also pointed to the report's findings on construction. The report found over 12 years there was a 102 percent increase in units that got a building permit from the city, a 42 percent rise in units where construction got started, and a 50 percent rise in units that were completed and became homes. It also confirms what, it, what we've said, which is the problem isn't on the permitting side, that permits have more than doubled over the last 10 years, um, but the problem is housing starts haven't kept pace and completions haven't kept pace. In the past, Halifax has only been able to complete up to about 3,000 new units a year. According to housing department officials, that's got to increase by 6,000. Uh, so that equates to about 6,000 over status quo to meet projected demand and address the gap. Um, we know that with the gap in, in housing, everybody here has agreed today that housing prices and rents have increased exponentially. Whether that can be done depends on private developers. And according to the mayor, developers seem to be pulling back from building right now due to high interest rates and labor shortages. This is a math problem. And when you have some of the biggest developers in the city who have projects that are really on hold right now, uh, who have never held projects before, um, then that's a problem. Shana Luck, CBC News, Halifax.